Okay, let's take a look. Hooked up um, everything that goes to the radiator. Put this back in. Um, the belt is on, and uh, all the, the bolts are tightened, at least the ones that I still have. Um, so yeah, it's nice. Goodyear Gator back. Same size and everything. So I'm pretty sure it's how it wraps around. I mean, for the most part, you can wrap it yourself. It's pretty hard to put on backwards. I don't know how the hell you could. You just look at the way these things are designed. Flat pieces go against the flat side. And um, pulleys that have ridges in them get the uh, the threaded side. So, I mean, it's it's pretty simple. I don't ha even have to look at anything. It just it makes sense. So it's pretty tight. <sighs> Not so tight it's going to snap or anything, but I mean, it's a new belt. It's going to stretch a little bit. Uh, so, everything's hooked up for the radiator and everything else. I'm going to put oil in. I have a six-cylinder 4.0, so it takes uh, six quarts of oil. So, uh, I bought two five-quarts. So, I'll put all of this one in, and then I'll put a quart of the other one in. And uh, once that's, well, while that's sitting in there, I'll either put in the water or I'll hook up vac lines. Probably vac lines. Water's going to be like one of the last steps. Um, I gotta figure out what's going on with the throttle cable. I hooked it all up, I think. I don't know if I'm missing a piece or not. But we have the piece that comes out of this line that goes over top of the engine. And I'm pretty sure it snaps into here. And then we have another cable here that fell off. But I'm pretty sure it connects there. And then down um, here, it's all dark. There's a, a rotating assembly. So I'm guessing something else goes on this ball here. I don't know what. But I mean, for the most part, I feel like it operates because like you have like, you're, you're pushing it and then wide open throttle, it'll open up the transmission. I'm pretty sure it's the transmission um, line so that it shifts uh, later or something. <coughs> <coughs> something to do with that. A quick update. Engine is full of six quarts of oil. Um, what else did I do? I put all the new spark plugs in. They're all gapped to point, uh, zero three five inches as... Um, if you look on the sticker over here, that's what it recommends. Spark plug get. Uh, so, all of them were gapped, they were all installed, they're all tightened. So now, uh, for the distributor cap and wires and rotor, uh, first I gotta figure out, I labeled all the wires. So every single wire on here is, has duct tape and a number. So you gotta make sure when you replace it that you put all the wires, um, that you know where they're gonna go. Uh, there's a, a couple different sizes. I think I have two long ones in my set. They're going to go for the farthest, like the sixth plug and the first plug, since they got to stretch farther from the middle. But here's all the cables. Here's the new cap. Here's the new rotor. I've never seen one of these before, so uh, this will be interesting. So on the right, we have the old one. It's got a little bit of burnt, but, you know, what do you expect? And it's the new one. This is what it looks like inside. Well, so I mean, this is pretty straightforward. It goes on the middle, and there's a little pin that holds it in place. Just go like that. And it just sits on there. And then here's the new cap with all the wires transferred. Um, well, not transferred, the new wires on. I tried to do the same thing that it looked like on here. If you look, I have all the wires laid out in the same direction. So... Doesn't look too terrible. Alright, so... This just... Sits on top. And you screw it down. And you just gotta make sure all the wires go to the correct spark plugs. If you don't, they, uh, your car probably won't start. So, I'll do that. All right, here we go. Rotor, distributor, and wires are in place now. I got them all hooked up. So the order, um, I'll start in between the, uh, we have in the middle is the starter 
like the main power. Uh, and then going clockwise, we have cylinder, um, or spark plug, five, three, six, two, four, one, something like that. Oh, I got them all transferred from here, so that's all good. Um, so now that the ignition or the uh, the spark system is set up, we got the fuel system set up. Uh, the only thing left to do, from what I'm aware of, is vacuum lines and water. So uh, I'm gonna go get that air box out and uh, hook up all these vacuum lines. Look at that, it's an air box and it's in place. Got the filtering, got all the clips on, got all the hoses together. EGR valve, or um, I don't know what this thing is. I think it's an EGR something, maybe. Maybe it's a map sensor. I don't know what it is, but it's in place. It's got the hoses connected. Got all the hoses in the back connected. Got all the hoses in here connected. Got this one connected, got that one connected. This whole little dealio is connected. This is connected. Um, I found out what was missing from the accelerator cable. Um, there's a cable that comes, you know, from where the accelerator uh, paddle would be. And I just had it tucked over here so I didn't notice it. But that goes down here and connects to the side of the rod. All right, so that's all hooked up. Uh, don't know what that is or if it even went to anything. I think that goes, maybe that's the map sensor. So that should plug, oh, aha, uh -huh, it goes there. That's where that goes. Okay. Um, let's see if I can bend this. This isn't very flexible. But I'll plug that back into there. There's no way I'm doing it from all the way up. What? Just did that. Cool. Okay. So that's in place. Maybe not as tight as I'd like it, but it's in there. Um, let's see, everything's on, cooling fans uh, on and hooked up. I just got a uh, side of that connection. Um, over here, all that's done. Uh, oh, look at that, it's slowly drained. I put it in there and it took fucking forever, but it finally went down. I didn't get very much of the, uh, didn't get a whole lot in there. But, um, alright, so the only thing I gotta do now is prime the oil pump. Uh, basically you turn the engine over, uh, with the starter, or the, um, you wanna remove this spark cable so spark doesn't go off. So you remove that cable, and, um, you can either pull out the fuel pump relay, which I believe is one of these guys, or, I don't know if this model supports it or not, I believe if you push your foot all the way to the, flo the floor, um, it's uh, called flood mode, where it won't uh, send any gas to the, um, the fuel rail. So I can just turn it over like that. And uh, once you see oil come out of here, you know that it's primed. Um, they make a tool. It's basically like a really, really long flat blade that uh, goes in somewhere over here. And it'll, it'll go right onto the top of the oil pump. And uh, you can spin it that way. But I don't know where that, that's at. I don't know if you have to remove the distributor, like the entire housing and everything, and it's uh, underneath there. It's somewhere in there. But, uh, yeah, we are just about ready to go. I'm pretty sure I won't be able to fill up all the coolant until the, uh, the engine gets up to temperature, the thermostat will open, all the water will get sucked through the system, and then it'll take the full amount. Um, let's see, underneath, there's no uh, puddles from today power steering fluid but that's all the stuff that dripped when I messed up with the hose that stuff in the back is water and kitty litter kitty litter was to uh, absorb some of the oil from when I was taking everything apart uh, that hose down there I think that's the uh, transmission breather too uh, I got tore up by the axles so I'll have to get a new one of those maybe but uh, for the most part I think this is all together like literally almost everything is together I can't think of anything that isn't together oil filter Fill up the water, solder that connection, and uh, yeah, start this thing up. So I guess I'm going to go um, get my soldering equipment and um, fix this wire so it's the way it should be. Okay, here we go. Got my little soldering iron out. Got the solder. I uh, recut the uh, connections, made them nice because 
you know, if they're sitting out in the weather, they're going to get oxidized and solder is going to stick to them well. And it just, it never works well. So it's always better to cut fresh. Uh, here's my new cable. I'm going to use what the, the guy used. Because, I mean, it didn't melt or anything and I don't have anything else better for the moment. So, I'm going to solder both the ends together. Got some heat shrink tubing. Put that on first. Don't ever fucking forget. Put this on first. <sighs> Unless you want to use electrical tape or something that works... I guess, kind of, as well. So yeah, I'm gonna wire everything up and uh, solder it all together and shrink it all together. And then, uh, oil. Okay, there we are. Connection soldered in place, both sides. Uh, I'm gonna take a multimeter real quick and make sure that they have, uh, they have little resistance and at first that there's ac an actual connection. And then after that, I'll uh, put the heat shrink around and uh, wrap it around the little wire coil. The uh, the readings were good. I had a solid connection. There was continuity, and um, the resistance was really low. So he trank them all. Ta -da. So now we got a solid connection again. The wire is a little bendy, so it works that I made it a little long. I always make them extra long, but this one might have been a little too extra long. Well, I have a fan again. So oil filter, water. And we're good.